it's rolling. Okay, Rod, this is the big mama. Huge, huge Henley eye for you. Oh, it's gonna be a nightmare to get this guy in the bag. Look at this girl. Shrinking the size of the net. Holy crap. That's the right word. Holy crap. Swing it. <laughs> Careful, dude. Ah, come on. Oh, can I do it? Oh. Rod, I need your muscles for this. Oh. There we go, nice and gentle. Get in there. Woo! The things I do for you, Rod. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, yeah, take a look at that beauty. It's gonna look so nice in your new tank. Beautiful. I would say it's at least 26 inches across. It's wrapped around over the sides on both ends. All right, have a safe trip. Okay, we're trying to catch the ray into the net here. It's not being very cooperative. Getting it all wet. There we go. Got him. Beautiful. Wow. Now, we don't want to net it. We're going to tub it. So it's minimal amount of stress on the ray. And we can pour out some of the excess water. Okay, now I'm gonna try to clip the spine. He has one, he has two on him. There's the other one. I'm gonna take him out. Hey guys, good morning. We're here again at Predatory Fins. If you didn't subscribe yet, go ahead and subscribe. Press the little bell. I don't even know where the bell is, but press that bell. Today we're gonna show you the first part of the video you already saw with our buddy Kevin at Stingray Biology, packing those stingrays for us. Now we're gonna show you the second part, which is what we have to do every time we have a shipment in. He's in LA, so he ships straight to Fort Lauderdale, but when he comes overseas, we'll have to go to Miami. But as soon as we get to the airport, we're gonna show you the process that we do to pick up the package, go to a warehouse, acclimate the stingrays, and put it back in a tank. unloading this stingrays. They're beautiful. This looks like a marble motoro. This guy here is amazing. I think it's a big female. Huh. Like this stingray literally has to be around three feet long. This is huge. Kevin, you're the man, bro. Every stingray I got from you, that one, this one, that came from my buddy Vincent. That Ray, thank you, Vincent. Uh, where's the other ones? That big male over there. But hey guys, I import stingrays from all over the world, but when I do get them from Kevin, I'm not lying. They, I can just acclimate them for 15, 20 minutes and put them in the tank, and they're good. And they, come, they start eating right away too. He has, he knows his, he knows his stuff. 
taped really well too. Yeah. Alright, let's see what this one looks like. Where's around the seat, buddy? You sure this one's not pregnant, bro? You've you done it before you sent me your pregnant stingray. But those are also stingrays that came from Kevin. Guys, stingray biology. If you're looking for stingrays, you can either get it from him or from me. Uh, that's where I get most of my stingrays. Dun, da, da. Oh, that's pretty. There is one. I think this might be the male. Yep, that's the male. So, three females and one male. But look at this female. I'm in love with this one here. We gotta come up with a name for her. Oh my god. That was our big female in the tank. And now we got three more. You wanna put them out of awesome. the bag? Now, for the drip, it's the better. Yeah, let's take them out of the bag, okay. put them in the styrofoam right here. Like this. Careful, careful. Okay. Oh yeah. Beautiful boy. Kevin, once again, bro, you did it. Every, I never got a dead stingray from you, bro. Every single one of them. Oh, thanks. Sorry. Careful, dude. This one looks pregnant. I could be wrong, but it's very fat. All right, let's go ahead and start the drip system. Lisa, go ahead. I will sit here and relax, and you can show everybody how it's done, okay? Do you want to put that one I back had a hard day today. What? Put that one back in the box? No, it's fine. Okay. I can push it more, we push it more towards the window. Hold on. Sound like an out of shape man. I can't even breathe. No, no, leave that one in there. It can't, it can't even tell me to ever breathe. What does it just right. sinks in? It's very heavy. All right, watch this. Go ahead. Ooh. Look at the size of the stinger. Right <laughs> How do you even? How do you even ship this stuff and make sure they're alive? Here, can you roll this camera? I want to measure real quick. Yeah. Okay, from there to the end of the tail. This is the whole box. 35 inches. And it's still a little bent. Just a this is around 22 Almost inches. Almost two feet. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, let's show everybody how we do the drip system. Wait, for, first, let me do something important. Sit down? Let me sit over here. Oh. All right, so what we're doing right now is what we like to do to pretty much every fish that we bring in. These guys came from LA, so we don't have to do two hours of drip system, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. We find depending on the on the temperature of the water. That's good enough, dude. You're gonna okay, start I, sucking sand if you listen, keep going low. Who's in charge here? I am. No. Nope. Yep. I'm just letting you know. If you keep going low, you're gonna suck I in sand. Good. Look. This is the gross part. Right. Go ahead. Ew. Why did you pick the dirty one? It's all dirty. You could have done the other. I'll do it for you. Hope I didn't get that. We didn't suck it's coming. Her. 
I'm a good sucker. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so that's one. Nah. This is amazing. What do you want? Everybody's waiting for food. I'm gonna feed you guys tomorrow, all right? I promise. Blake said he's gonna come here and, and I told him that I, I would feed him in front of him when he would help me feed him. So. Now look, this is the important part. See, we're doing the drip system, but it's literally just running, right? When we get them from South America or another country, the water is so different. Hey, can you give me, give me a second here? Just hold this for me. The water is so different that when we do the drip system, go ahead, see, hold it. We actually let the water run like this, like drip, like that, for two to three hours to make sure that they acclimate perfectly. But like I said, the water in LA, in Florida, the temperature is pretty cold in there. So we're probably gonna leave for about 30 minutes. And uh, then we're gonna show you how to put them, how we put them in a tank. That's the thing about having having a fish store. You can't really leave the, leave the AC running full blast. That's pretty clean. Come on. The last one. Look at the patterns right here on top. It's really cool. You all did it yourself again, buddy. These guys are amazing. So now we're gonna have, this is gonna be a big female. Hopefully we'll start having babies soon. This will be a big female, that's a big female. This one's a female, this one's a female. We're gonna have four large females in the tank. It's gonna be awesome. But stingrays, I don't know if most of you know that, but stingrays produce a lot of ammonia. So a big stingray like this produce probably the same amount of ammonia as like 20 large fish, maybe even more. So it's very important to have a really good filtration system. Like I built that myself, but that's a, a fluorized sin filter over there. And that's a, uh, movable media okay so this two they're very large it's a very large system so this water will be fine even with the stingrays in uh, in that chamber chamber over there I still gotta add more lava rock and dead coral and we have the sump on the other side that takes all the impurities out of the water but this is amazing look at the little bat ray 